In this tutorial, I will teach you some basics about the circle tool. So let's go over here and create a circle. And you can see there we just created a nice elliptical circle. Now, if you want to create a symmetrically perfect circle, you hold down the control button, and there you can see it sizes it correctly, and all the proportions are symmetrically correct. Now this little circle here can be dragged and it will control the arc. So you can see there we just created an arc. You'll notice up here now these buttons are now highlighted. So if you wanted to segment this, you just select this button here, switch to segment, and you get these nice segments. Now you can switch it back if you want to an arc, or you can switch it back to a circle. Now if you want to be more precise with these nodes, you can use these two fields up here. There's a starting node, and there's an ending node. So you can control both nodes, and we can create like a Pac-Man. And again, you'll see that these are highlighted, so you turn this into a segment, you can turn it back to an arc, you can turn it into a segment, and back to a circle. Now let's create another arc, and if we click on another tool, and you come back here to draw another circle, you'll notice it creates more arcs. You have to set it back to circle if you want to create new circles. So let's delete all of these circles now by selecting all, and then cutting, and let's create a new circle. Now to change the colors of the circle and the border, go up to Object, hit Fill and Stroke, this width here will adjust the size of the border. You can see we sized it down, and then if you want to size it up, we put it to 44, you get this much wider border. Now, if you want to adjust this border color, go to Stroke Paint, and you can see here, you can select whatever color you want on the wheel. You can also use RGB, but I like to use the wheel. If we want to adjust the color in the center of the circle, go to Fill, and it's the same process. Now, let's create one more circle and then go up to edit and hit select all and to combine these you go to path and hit combine reselect both of them and now these are combined and so that's going to do it for this tutorial I hope you found this useful and please check out my other Inkscape tutorials